In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the most underrated base coverages for Gun Bunch in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below as we release new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And I actually just released my 46 defensive guide. If you've not gotten my 46 defensive guide, I think it's the best defense in the game right now. It's got, um, it's it's definitely the best coverage in the game, in my opinion. It's got the best opportunity for coverage and really does a good job of, I think, putting the defense in a position where they can at least have a shot at covering some of the most meta and popular concepts. So that being said, I want to get into today's video. If you want to get my 4-6 defensive guide, I'm going to put a link to that down in the description of this video. You can get that full defensive ebook for just 15 bucks. Again, there is a link in the description. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is I really want to go over this kind of cover to uh, kind of cover to concept. And to do this, I'm going to it's really important that you make this one adjustment. So obviously we're going to be going from 335 normal down into 335 wide. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to sub in linebackers at the defensive end positions. And we're going to sub in safeties. This is really important. We're going to sub in safeties at linebacker. Now the reason I like to do this is because in Madden 22, just like in Madden uh, 21, linebackers are basically one of the most wastes of space on the field. They don't jump. They don't react to the ball. And that is really the primary reason as to why we want to go with the 3 3 5 wide because it allows us to put eight people on the field who are actually going to react to the football okay especially when it's in air and then i'm going to audible into 335 wide that's where our pressure comes it's where our run defense comes that's where our match defense comes and we're going to show you how to set up this tampa too now before we go too far into this video i want to let you know that safety nickelback package is actually really important because what it's going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to basically get some unique adjustments to our safeties in our nickel corner as long as we base align our coverage. So I'm going to come out and run a base align coverage against a uh, uh, gun bunch. And then really important, what I'm actually going to do is I'm simply going to put my curl flats on five yards. Okay. That's the only adjustment that I'm going to make in this. I'm just going to put my curl flats to five yards. I'm going to show you why here in just a moment. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to put these to 10. I'm going to put them to 10. And that's primarily for um, defending something like Flood. Or if you wanted to, you could also put these on 25. And the reason you would put these on 25 is because maybe you're trying to essentially play a cover three cloud type of deal where you're going to be able to stop a crossing route to the backside. And I'll show you that in this coverage shell. So uh, nickel 335. And the other thing that you can do with this is you can put your flats on 30, put your curl flats on five and your hooks on five. That's another option. But all of these are going to basically kind of center around what your opponent's doing. If your opponent is not throwing like crossers and stuff, then bump, then just take these off. But this is kind of the basics of what we want to do. So again, let me just show you, we're going five, five and 30, and then we're going to come out into cover four drop and we're going to audible into the Tampa two. And then from that point, what we're going to do once we audible down is we're going to go ahead and pinch our defense. It's going to press everybody, pinch everybody in. And then from there, we're just going to kind of start manipulating the coverage. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to put the slot cornerback into a deep middle third. Okay, he's going to go into a deep middle third just like this. Then from there, I'm going to put both safeties and outside thirds on their corresponding side. So for example, it's going to look like this. Uh, your your right side safety goes in an outside third to the right. Your left side safety goes in an outside third to the left. So you see, this is what we've created. And essentially, this is one of the best coverages for having uh, bomb protection. It's very good against any kind of bomb coverage that they might use. And then from there, my favorite thing to do with this is actually a cross man. We're not going to get too far into that today. But what we're going to do is we're just going to put both outside linebackers in curl flat zone so they play the underneath zone. And then from there, we're just going to drop the defensive end on the right side of the screen into a bluff blitz. And as you can see, this is pretty much the coverage that we're going to use. Okay, so super simple. 
and this coverage right here is very safe that's what I like the most about it it's a very safe coverage you're going to see here that anything that you're gonna give up is gonna basically be underneath or over the middle of the field now you can set this up from other plays because we obviously adjusted almost everything on the field so if I wanted to do this for Mike Blitz 3, for example, if especially if I'm playing somebody that's in a, um, you know, maybe they're in like a five wide formation or something, then I have the freedom to be able to do this and it looks exactly identical to my cover three coverage. And as you can see right here, it actually already comes with a three rep to, the, to that side of the defense. But as you see here, this is the coverage that I really like to run. Let me show you what this does. The best thing for me for this is it really does a good job. It bags the gun bunch verticals. Um, it takes every route from verticals out of the picture, and it also really does a great job against crossing routes and corner routes. So it's basically another version of a bend but don't break coverage shell. And what I really like about this is, let me show you what I'm talking about when I talk about five wide. So let me just show you. So if I come out in this gun five wide, okay, and run verticals, and you come out in that nickel 335, you don't have to base align to get this to work. So for example, if I don't wanna to have to worry about base aligning my coverage, I could just come out and audible to the mic blitz three, and now all I gotta do is just control, oh, whoops, I'm sorry, wrong button. Um, come out to the mic blitz three, you see nobody moves. Nobody moves. So now I have so much more freedom to be able to get this thing set up. The only problem with this is when I don't base align, I can't put that slot in a middle third. So obviously you can do this where you base align and then you unbase align, and then you come down into your coverage and just finish setting up your, your defense. And as you see, now you've got the same basic coverage with five wide, but it looks like you're in a cover three. So this is a very unique coverage. So all you have to do is watch this left side seam. And other than that, that slot seam route that's so hard to defend, as you see, we're basically bagging it. So I absolutely love this coverage. I just wanted to show the concept, talk a little bit about it. And again, I wanna encourage you, if you've not got my 4-6 defensive game plan, there is a link in the description below. If you want me to kind of expand on this coverage concept and also show you how to absolutely shut down U-trips, trips tight end, uh, gun bunch, gun bunch tight end, gun spread. And a lot of you guys are struggling with compression, gun compression. We have great defense for gun compression, gun tight, offset tight end this year. So if you want to get access to all of those uh, pieces of content, all of those ma that material that is all in my 4-6 defensive guide. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And if you want to get the guide, there is a link in the description. All you got to do is go down, click that link, and head over to the website where you can get the guide for just 15 bucks.